get the fire, the dog's getting let loose. Get down here right now. We're en route to back up some officers who are following a person who's wanted in a vehicle. Uh, we have a couple of narcotics officers who are following. No, 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 no. Yeah, 1632, you can just start. He's right there. Control boy 61, can you advise? Somebody's going westbound on 16th Street. That's him right there. Westbound 16th from Sherman in a green and silver Chevy pickup truck. 250 control, I'm behind him. We're uh, still westbound on Brookside Parkway, South Drive, passing Ewing. Let's see if we can get a couple more cars here and we'll stop them. Westbound Parkway, South Drive, approaching Ewing. Yes. Yeah. behind you. Okay, it's like, gosh. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. We got canine control. Two fifty control. Put me up. Give me a car on Brookside South Drive too. Make sure he doesn't go into the park. No. Actually, we're behind. Got a uh, big porch with a bunch of space under it. There he is, right there. Cook, wait. Quick, hang up, hang up, hang up. Cook, cook, get over here. Get in here, cook. Can we see your hands? See him now. Ram, hang on. Turn on your back. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Turn on your back. Stop resisting. Get some cook. Get your hand on your back. Fine, Put your hand by your back. Control, we're one house. Control, we're trying to get him. No. No, okay, please. here's his other hand. Where is it? Right here. Put your hand. We're trying to get him cuffed now. Stop resisting. Stop it. Get your stomach. Oh, he hit me with the truck earlier, but other than that, I'm fine. He ran and he tried to run us over. No, sir, I thought the guy was scared. Okay, yeah, you're scared. No, you won't. Yeah, you're right. No, I didn't even see him. No, he just put my on my door with his gun out. And I didn't know who he was. Where's the car at? Where did he crash at? Right there in that truck. All the marked cars, two marked cars behind you, red and blue lights. The guys in uniform didn't give, didn't give you a clue that it was the police. Listen, 
Bob is the guy to you, son. He was ready to pull down the alley, and we, we pulled him over. I pulled up next to him and tried to box him in. He, he sees me, takes off. I run next to the vehicle, which wasn't too bright. And, and then Cook goes in down the uh, alley after him, and then him and Roach went in pursuit after him. And I guess he went, they went through here in the neighborhood a little bit, and then he bails down here, and he runs up here, and he hides back in here. Hey, son. So, I don't know. When I came down the alley, he ripped it down the alley. I came down the alley. His truck slid sideways, and there's either a garage or a, a concrete post down there that he, the truck ran into, and he bailed out. Huh? When he bailed out, the truck bounced backwards, and when I came out, I didn't see where the truck went. I think it rolled back into the front of my car. What, what's the warrants for? Uh, I don't know. Um, Detective Horn's got all the warrant information. He's got three different warrants on him. Nope, from 74, so that should be coming at you. We're going to try to get down here and catch up to uh, Claremont's behind a vehicle that was in excess of 100 miles an hour on 136. They got on the interstate coming south. And apparently, they're really flying, so we're going to try to catch up to them, get them stopped. I'll go ahead and light them up. want to get around there behind them. Steve, we're uh, southbound coming up on 10th Street. I'm behind the Claremont officer now. I think he's going to wait till he gets down by the bridge. Okay, myself is over underneath the bridge. Okay, we're coming up on you. I don't, he hasn't lit him up yet, so I'm just going to wait to see what he does. Okay. There's a couple canine officers down here at the bridge in case this guy takes off on us. I'll go ahead and light him up right to the bottom of the ramp. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Well, you're going to be. Okay, you're past us now. Let the canine car get in front of us. Control it stop. Uh, I put the fourth car back now. I don't have a place for it. We're uh, just off of uh, Canyon Order 65. Okay. 93 George 3378. It's a 99 issue. 9310 Bronco. Looks like possibly the vehicle we were uh, getting stopped just north of Rockville Road. Okay, well, on the interstate. Hey, Dan. All right, bud. Come on back here, partner. Do a favor, put your hands on the car for me. Check. Just lay it up on top, that's all right. Where are you headed to tonight, bud? Um, okay. Listen, I'm just going to put you in cuffs. You're not under arrest yet. But since we're out here on the interstate, I don't want you to do anything that's going to make us uh, question your intentions, okay? When I pulled him over, I asked him, between the seats, he didn't even try to hide it or anything. You gonna watch it for the second step? Yeah, what? Well. Do you want? What's that? You want him or we can take him. Uh, that's fine. When I, when I pulled up and I walked around the side, he just he just standing there looking at me. And I can see the marijuana open right on the side. And yeah, said, we can see it from the passenger side. Yeah, no I said I said, what's that between the seats? He said, that's marijuana. Didn't even try to. Oh, he just told you it was marijuana? Yeah, he, no, he just said it was marijuana. Okay. Got a big one. Okay. We're about 700. Yeah, you think you're drinking tonight? No. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. What's all this money for? I just got paid. I uh, had a couple of people that owed me money pay me off today, too. All 20s, $400 in 20s. Look at yeah, that. he might be selling or. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Buying or whatever. I'm selling $20 bags. This guy's flying through town in Claremont. Okay, Somebody sees him, calls in on a cell phone, and says, look for a truck that's doing over 100 miles an hour. Off-duty Claremont officer finds a truck matching the description. We stop it. He's got marijuana laying on the front seat. Just a little bit amount of this tiny amount of marijuana. Now he's going to spend the night in jail, and he's never been in trouble before a day in his life. How much is air, Skip? Uh, well over 500. OK. You said you just got paid today, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay, six has already ordered it. Three, two, five. Just uh, have a seat right here for just a minute, please. Okay. Two handled and driving right now, but it's a 99. 
to sit tight. Scoot your ear in forward. Those cuffs won't tighten up on you, okay? When you took this ramp down here, when you got off of 74 onto the onto 465, you were in excess almost 70 miles an hour on a ramp. 465, getting mm -hmm. on here. Yes, sir. See how marijuana alters your judgment and your perception? I thought I had my crew set. At the, you thought you had your crew set? At the 55, yeah. yeah. No. You were well over 55. Well over 55. I didn't turn my crews off. Yeah. I didn't turn my crews on and started this going to go to 55. I mean, now I'm going to go to jail tonight, and are they going to keep me in there? Do I got a chance to get out on bail or what? You'll be I kept mean, there tonight, but with the charge or the crime you're being charged with, you could face fines up to ten thousand dollars if the court sees fit. Where are they? Couple of joints. Yeah, for just a couple of joints. Possession of marijuana I mean, is possession of marijuana, no matter how you look at it. Right. I, 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 you know, I just enjoy, you know, as a casual thing, people drink casually. Well, the difference between drinking and marijuana <laughs> is drinking's legal in the United States. Marijuana is not. Until right. marijuana is legal, then whenever we, I, I understand that, but I, I don't, I'm not a trouble maker. Or I don't go out the rest and on. break the laws. I, I don't go out and rob places for money to support my habit. I work all day long. And I respect the fact that you work, but nobody's the, questioning that. I have a question for you, though. Why didn't you try to hide the marijuana? Most people try to hide it. Ain't no sense in me trying to grab something and throw it, and you guys still think the same thing as something in the car. Fair enough. I can live with that. I appreciate your honesty. Responding to a possible child abuse or child neglect call at a uh, motel across from the racetrack. She, she advises they're about two to three years old. They're up on the balcony. The mom locked them out, I guess. She's worried that they're going to fall off. They're screaming and hollering to be let back in. It's room 105, correct? Affirmative. Yeah, farm going 1023. I didn't call you. Did you see that up there? Yeah. Just want him to get the manager. Okay. Control, I've uh, got the small child here. Ten four. Ten seventeen and one oh six. You know, actually I have two very small children out here. up a female inside that was uh, napping on the bed. These your children? Yeah. You care to explain how we got into this position? So would I. It's going in there, buddy. It's okay. Right there. We'll never see. What's all this? They come up with uh, glasses. Is this your room? My boyfriend's room. It's your boyfriend's room? Whose children are these? It's my grandson. It's your grandson? It's your granddaughter? Are you okay or? How much have you been drinking? Oh, yeah. Everybody. Huh? Bottle right there. You been drinking that bottle right there? Yeah. You haven't messed with any of this paraphernalia here? No. 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 All right, you want to set that up on the TV where the kids can't get to it? I laid down with them. 
Well, either they crawled through this window or they were able to open the door and stand outside and cry and wail until neighbors and passerbys heard them and saw them and called us. And they were crying loud enough I could hear them coming up the stairs. You're laying right in here with the window open and you couldn't hear them. We was all in the bed. We was all, all three of us was in the bed. Well, not when I got here, these two were outside. They'd been outside for at least five minutes, if not longer. And they had a trash can out there with them. What are you? Okay. Five. Eight, 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 four. Five. How old are you? Do one, nothing, nothing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I, I need you guys to kind of wash the kids. Yeah, I'll take yeah. it. Okay, take you want? Kids if you want. Okay, yeah, would you go ahead and, and get her? Yeah. Maybe give me a little one there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, hi, sweetie. Why don't you go ahead and stand up here? Come over here with me, buddy. Hey, man, what are you these kids ate? Uh, when was the last time? When was the last time they ate? Amen. What time is it now? Around. Come here, Malik. Come here, buddy. Yeah. All right. It's different. Okay. Hang on, Ronald. Come here, Malik. Okay. Come here, Come here. Come here. He's definitely gotten into the alcohol. There's no doubt about that. I mean, he's he reeks of it. And well, I can smell the, the wine and stuff on his breath. I'm going to get you mama so you can talk to mama. Yeah, yeah he's really starting to get real, lethar real lethargic. And we're going to get you checked out make sure everything is okay, though, buddy. All right? Get him transported down to Wishard under uh, protective yeah, custody for now. There's some more of your paraphernalia right there. You know, you look at where this is located from where we found the children in this room, it'd be very easy for little Malik to pull up a chair, and sure enough, he's accessible to this right here. You know, you got razor blades in here. I'm a parent and I know how my little one is, and they get a hold of stuff like this. Of course, they're going to play with it and see what they can do with it. And with those blades and Again, if they had any type of residue or coke and they got a hold of it and put it into the system, again, you can have death on your hands. We've got child neglect. We've got uh, possession of controlled substance and paraphernalia. You got a warrant out for your arrest. For a two hundred dollar fine. Well, the judge saw it enough as to put out a warrant for your arrest. I'd... That's up. That's between you and him. Right. Well, right now, with the child possibly consuming the alcohol, what they're going to do is go ahead and take it down to Wishard Hospital here in Indianapolis, where they can examine the, the infant down there. I think he's approximately two years old. And with that open bottle of uh, whiskey that we had in the room, they need to really look him over. I got a really strong odor of alcohol coming from his breath. And you can tell by the way the child was acting that you know, I think he's gotten a hold of something. We've got a robbery in progress at this gas station right here. We can get up here and see. I don't see anything at all, nothing at all. 425 control, plate in the parking lot, 49G George, 3703, and there's nobody, can't see anybody in there at all. 49G, 3703. 49G, 3703. No. 
wait for uh, Mitch to get here. Money's on the ground. Money's on the floor. Mr. Robert, your person be advised to play the safe. It's going to be two black males running westbound through Eagle Dale Drive. Two black males, black hooded sweatshirts, blue jeans. Dispatcher, hey, we're coming on lock the door. Running through Eagle Dale. How could they run the Eagle Dale Drive? Right on Eagle Dale Plaza, right there. Come on out. She's up there. They're not in here. They took off. There's two black men in black hooded sweatshirts. One, they both went this way. They shot a gun. Both of them are about this height. They look to be about. Is they say 17 to 21. They fired around? No, they can't. They I had a gun? They had a gun? Both of them had guns. Little white, silver, little silver guns. They both had guns. Silver guns. They come straight. One to here, one to here. I was there. They did not see me, so I ducked and hit. And ran in the back office. Oh, my Possible suspects right up the street here. Four twenty five thirty from Tibbs, where's he at? Okay. Yeah, I don't know that, okay? I don't know that, alright? I'm with him at 30th and Tibbs. Yeah, everybody go down your knees, go down your knees. Go down your knees, everybody. Okay. Lay down. Lay down, face down. Face down, face down. Everybody face down. Arms out. Arms out, face down. look like them. What'd they get? Did they gain money or anything? Yeah, they took money. I, I just gave them all the money out of the register and they left. And they didn't even know Paula was back there. The manager was back there. She was being quiet, making a phone call. You know, their outfits and stuff, I'm pretty sure. But I can't tell by the face, you know, because they have bandanas on. Okay, so if you had to pick out one and say, that's him, would any, any of them? I'd have to say the two on the left. It was like that. As soon as I pulled that boom, she covered her eyes, says, that's them, that's them, that's them. Yeah. Right there. There's yeah. yeah. And they got like five cell phones in the box. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear from Jeremy ask if he was what walking. color was the blue bandit? Yeah. <laughs> we got automatic ID. ID. Yep. That's it. Oh, I turned me and uh, Wells were. This is your Michigan, catch, right? Michigan and Tremont. When this came out, we hauled ass up here. I got up here, and the guy in the gray jacket, the third one right here, was walking eastbound on 30th, right here in the grass. And I turned the corner to see what was going on, and these two were sitting in the driveway. Here you are. Uh, they ran west towards Eagle Dale, and the engine on the car is warm. And he's saying they've been here all night, but the engine's warm. So they probably have been out driving around. And were the car went right over there, got the car, and came right here. Right. I also just got a we're on our way to a mother and daughter domestic. Uh, we just got a recall back from the mother. They think the daughter's possibly on drugs or alcohol. Said she's kind of incoherent. Her speech is slurred. We're pretty close to it. We'll uh, find out when we get in there.
Hi, guys. Okay, I think this is it. Uh-oh. Beware of the dog. Hi, guys. I'm going to go get my stuff out of No, you're not going to do anything right now. I'll get the ambulance check you out, okay? That way I can tell what, whether you are or aren't. So you need to get yourself, if you're not on anything, get yourself under control, okay? And then I'll have... I'm going to go get stuff. What stuff? My clothes. You don't need your clothes. Where are you going? Why do you need clothes? My clothes and my deodorant, my toothbrush, I want it all. You're going to the hospital. You won't need that up there. I don't want to go nowhere. You okay, sit down. sit down right here. I want to get my stuff. You don't need your stuff. Calm down. Calm down. Is she, uh, Mom, have you seen if, anything today as far as... I took my other son and his daughter. Did you get hit in the eye? Yeah. Okay. All right. She got any kind of record? No. Okay, just when did all this start? Um, I've been home about 30 minutes. No, but she's been doing it in the past? Uh, I, I left at 11 o'clock today to take the kids swimming. When I come home, she's staggering all over the place, slurring, can't hardly talk, can't walk. Went to dial the phone, couldn't even push the buttons. I mean, totally was missing. I was still pushing the buttons. Hey, 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 I knew what I was doing. This, this ain't her. This yeah, is I know. not her at all. <laughs> totally opposite kid. Okay. You pissed me off. I'm moving. Danny just said I can move with him. I don't think so. Danny just said I can move with him. Who's Danny? Dad just said I can brother. move with him. I don't like nobody around here. Right. I get my and go. No, you're gonna straighten your ass up. Is what you're gonna do. I'm not staying here. Well, we'll see. Yeah. You'll either be here in juvenile till you're 18 years old. One no, of the two I places. won't. Her no, I won't. Drunk. I was just. Lace Ellie drunk. got me here. So we've been doing fun stuff. Who is? Who is? Ellie got me here. We've been doing fun stuff. I want to move with my dad. Oh, yeah, I don't blame you. At your age, I'd want to live there, too. That ain't going on here. I ain't doing nothing wrong! Oh, yeah, I can tell you ain't done nothing wrong. Here. There's no alcohol in the house or anything like that? No. Do we know where she's been today? It, no. We'll deal with that in a minute, okay? You're gonna wait till the ambulance gets here, check you out, and then I'll be able to go from there on what you want. You hurt my need. arm! I swear I hate you! Good. Because I love you. That's the way that goes. But she's never done anything like this before, except smoke a little pot, according to her. Have you smoked any today? How long ago? I don't know. It's more than that. Does it, that. does it always make you act like this? No. You been drinking? Nothing alcoholic, right? I want to get my stuff and I want to leave. You're not leaving. I stay there and I'm going to my dad's. That's right. Thanks. She's completely turned over the room in the back and all the way back up through here. Everything's just flipped over. And well, I believe that. Ain't no doubt in my mind about that. Another case of where medication you know, that didn't belong to her, she got into mom's medication and it just whacked her out. Okay, well, we'll get her, get you out of here, mom, get you down to the hospital. You need to start locking, you know, you're gonna have to start locking your stuff up. Oh yeah. Okay, I, I'm but I'll tell you what, she's not gonna have a good time when they pump her stomach. Uh, she's not gonna like that charcoal mix. Oh, she don't. Okay. Where did you get the Xanax? I'm down mine. You found them, was that your mom's? Did you find them from her uh, in, in the medicine in her room? Okay. Why did Why did you take them? Because I wanted to see what they were like. Okay. See what they do to you. Well, not a real good thing, is it? No. Okay. Why didn't you come just come out with it to begin with? Are you scared you're gonna get in trouble or? No. I want to live here no more. Okay. So if you need. To so we don't know how many, in other words, Cindy, we don't know how many, right? What's the white ones? 
these are my pain pills. I was in all Okay, have you taken any of the white ones? Danielle, the white ones, the big white any ones. Any white ones. Have you taken no. any white ones? You just That's took the blue ones? I Which? took the little peach ones. Little what? They're blue. She's taken three to four Xanax, according to her, and there was also some pain medication in the bottle. Mom and them come home. Uh, they went swimming, came home, and she came in like this. A big fight got started. She's wrecked about everything in the house. Brother. Okay, we're on our way to uh, serve a search warrant with our narcotics uh, detectives from South District. It's up at this uh, trailer park here on the left. They're supposed to be the narcotics detectives just drove past it. The people that they're wanting to serve should be there. They said they saw them, so. We're just gonna park here in the grass and walk over. It's about six trailers over. You guys ready? Here we go. Let's go. Get out of the way. That's her, get her right there. Get now. Somebody stay with her. Get out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. Ram, ram, ram. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you sure? Police search warrant! Police search warrant! Police search warrant! Search warrant, get out, get out! Police search warrant! Clear. 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 Stick with it there, buddy. Okay, I got a search warrant for your house, Bill. You need to listen to this, okay? This is a search warrant to the Indianapolis Police Department, whereas an affidavit has been filed with me, a copy of which is attached here to an incorporated hearing in all respects. And the court having examined said affidavit and being duly advised in the premises now finds that there is probable cause for the issuance of this warrant. Okay, listen to this. You know, we might be able to work something out with this, but if there's something in here, you need to tell us about it right now, because in about 30 seconds, we're gonna start searching this place. And if we find anything in here and you don't tell us about it, I'm putting it on you and you're going to jail. Okay, so if there's something in here, you need to, best thing you can do is take us wherever it's at, point it out and help yourself out. Okay, is there anything in here? There's three joints up above the... That's it? Up above where? Up above the, the thing right there. This? Yes, sir. Is that it? And there's some scales. If you want to walk back here to my bedroom, I yeah, come on, take us there. back here and show us where the scale is. I'm willing to cooperate. Well, you need to cooperate, Billy. Is there anything inside your car? No, Who's the black guy that's listed in this warrant? Who's that? Does he live here? That's him. That's him. Yeah. Where's the dope? Is he living here with you? Huh? Is he living here, here with you? He, he kind of stays here. He kind of stays here. Okay, where's the scales at back here? Where's the dope at in here? Okay, where's he'll, it at? He'll, he'll be back here just in a little bit, too. Okay, where's it at? Where's the dope at? Come on, I'll show you. No, you just tell me where it's at. Okay, I don't want you to. There's a red shirt that has two zippers on it. This one here? This right here. Yeah. Crack cocaine, a little bit of cash. Well, that's quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We'll fingerprint that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oop, my arm is. There we go. Well, he rolls those nice, doesn't he? Pretty. A couple of bongs. This is money that came off of her. I think that uh, was out of the pocket, I believe. Do you ever want to get your kids back? I mean, at some point? Oh, yeah, but I mean, I've had a lot of problems with this and that and the other, so I mean, I think it's best that they stay there. I understand that, but I'm just saying, you know, if you got a good job someday, you might be able to get your kids back, but you'll never be able to get them back if you're dealing narcotics and 
You say you've only done it a couple of times, but it only takes once for you to I get know. convicted of it. Child Protective Services isn't going to let you take your kids <laughs> if they know that you've gone to jail and you're dealing drugs. They don't give you back to, they don't give their kids back to parents that do that. They don't give kids back to parents that do less than that, much less somebody that's dealing, because you're probably dealing to kids. So he's got kids and you're allowing that to go on here I with told, those kids. I told him, I said. But Billy, you're not stopping it and you're participating like in I it. I know you he are because. I put his hands on me and I'm scared of him. Well, then why don't you pack up and move? Why I, don't you Why don't you call the police? You Does he keep you physically restrained inside the? No, it's just he scares me and stuff like that. Well, get the hell away from him. You I, know I he's am. got dope in here. What's it take? Well, yeah, you're getting That's away from I him because you're going to be wearing orange. Because you know what's going on and you're participating in it. You're just as guilty as he is. You're just as guilty as he is. Because you help him do it and you know what's going on and you're not putting a stop to it. And you, I'll tell you what, you bought a big one this time. You bought a big one. If you keep yourself out of prison, you'll be lucky. Damn lucky. And with that prior felony conviction, you know what that means? If I'm not mistaken, that means you're non-suspendable. That means you can't get probation. That means you have to go to jail. You have to go to prison. And if you plead, I think, and I may, I may not be 100% accurate on this, but I think you're looking at a minimum of six years. Minimum. Minimum six years. You ready to go to jail for six no, years? No, sir, I'm not. Well, then you better, you better come up with something good, because that's where you're headed. I don't know if I necessarily, necessarily believe her that much. She, uh... She's the one that actually made the sale, and I know that she's involved in the dope being sold out of here. Um, even though I told her that, you know, if she cooperated with us, it made the difference between dealing and possession, I don't think there's any way that I can get around a dealing charge. I mean, it's obvious that she's selling out of here. She's admitted that she's sold out of here. We had some officers who were in a vehicle pursuit. Uh, they had a short chase subject. Uh, bailed from the vehicle. We believe he's laying down somewhere, so we're going to set up a perimeter. Hopefully, we got this subject boxed in. Tomorrow, we can come up to uh, maybe about 43, 4350, 4400. Okay, here we are. Go ahead. You can find anything going on. What exactly happened here, Doug? We, we stopped him. He blew the stop sign at uh, 40th and uh, Bolton. He stopped. He pulled over at uh, 40th and Arlington for me. And then as soon as, as soon as me and Paul approached the vehicle, he took off like a bat. Brought the car right to here and bailed. Look at this. Try to get a unit down here. That's where he's headed. This we found in the front seat. Electronic scales, baggies. The mother load, baby. Good job. <laughs> hey, Sam. Talk to the guys. We need me. Well, between here. He ran. He ran from this truck. Which way to go? To here, twin. White fence stand in the bush right there. I bet you he came through these yards, jumped the fence here, went into one of these houses along here. I think he, I think he's right here, close by. Whether he's in the house. Thank you. Uh, or on the back side of that alley. You want to check this yard here? You got any dogs next door, ma'am? Okay, okay, stay there. He's coming down. We got the dog. Get up here. Pat, let the dog up here. Hey, wait a minute. His name is Derek. They're not going to bite him. Derek! Come on down. Come on down, Derek! We're sending a dog in. The house is surrounded. There's a dog here. He's coming in the attic. you got five seconds. One! Two! I get the five. The dog's getting let loose. Get down here right now. On your stomach. Get on your stomach. On your stomach. On your stomach. On your stomach, Derek. On your stomach, Derek. On your stomach. Get his hands! Put your hands behind your back! Okay, here it goes. That downstairs room? Yeah. My dog is being high. I knew it. 
Derek, you were smart to come out, man. Spread your feet apart, buddy. Real spread apart, way hard. This is his pager. Ball. A lot of dope. There's all his money, Doug. Hey, you got anything in your pants? Any more marijuana or crack or anything? Any money in your pants or anything? No? Go ahead and Miranda. What's his name? What's his name? Derek? Listen up, Derek. Okay, I'm going to read you Miranda warning. Before we ask you any questions, you want to understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions. They have him with you during questioning. You listening? If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand all of these rights you have? Okay. Do you want to talk now? Do you have nothing to say? Huh? No. No? Okay. That's $1,252. You want to sit down or anything? You okay? Can I get you anything? You want to go back to the house? You want to stay here? Okay. Let me stay here with you. I ain't with you. I got us in my car. Oh, okay. Has he been in any trouble in the past, Derek? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. He had a little bit of Ah, uh, he's under arrest for felony possession of marijuana, uh, resisting the police in vehicle, which is also a felony. So those are two felonies. Also, resist fleeing on foot, which is a misdemeanor. Uh, we found him up in the attic. He came out willingly, thank God, because there was a canine uh, waiting on him if he didn't want to come out on his own, and he had approximately $1,200 in cash in his right front pan pocket. That's the money he had on him. Uh, it's six packages of marijuana electron and two electronic scales. So he's got this package ready for sale, ready to deliver on the street. Most of it, yeah, 1260 $1 bucks and about. Yeah, this has been freshly cut, though. Look at it. Look, couple, at, all, look at all the residues couple on the scale. How, how, how much did it? Did you weigh it? This, I think we weighed, we put this package in. It was like 4.31. It's been a good day. He's a good boy. Come. Excellent. He's a good dog. Well, we appreciate your assistance coming over and helping us out. Excellent apprehension tonight. My pleasure. All right. Anytime. Be advised that the business is going to be the high transmission level. Had a PI accident. The officer just called it in. I don't know. If he sounded like he might have been involved. We don't really know yet. So we're going to get up here and see. Four twenty-five is ten twenty-three. Twenty-three oh six. Man, oh man. Holy cow. 425 Patrol, make sure EMS is on the way. This is a pretty bad one. All right, where's the other car? That pole. Huh? That pole. Oh, the hit pole? 25 Patrol, there. it's probably 1055 too, if you want to see if we've got one available. I'm there, I want to do. Huh? Was there anybody else in the car with you? You by yourself? Okay. So we don't need to be looking for another body that flew out of the car anywhere? Huh? Pray you don't. I ain't trying to kill nobody. Okay, well, I'm not saying that. I just want to make sure that we don't need to try to find a second person here. Huh? No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm just, I want to make sure there's nobody ejected out of the car. Okay. Like a passenger. I'm not saying you killed anybody. You take me home. Huh? Are we going to take you home tonight? Are we going to take you home? Tonight. 
Well, we gotta get some uh, medical attention for you here to start with. Is this your car? Do you have a driver's license? Yes, sir. Huh? You don't have a driver's You do, okay. You haven't, you hurt anywhere else other than your eye there? What's that? Okay. You have a phone number there? You have a phone number there? I do, but y'all gonna make the same two, uh, I ain't not gonna tell you. Do what now? If you gonna make the same two, uh, personal, I'm not gonna tell you. No, I just need it for the police report, bud. We came off the dirt back here about 100 feet. There's no skid marks whatsoever. The saplings are all at, uh, slowing down trying to get any Okay. Yeah, definitely get pictures of that car. They're gonna want that. What I'll do, uh, tell him, tell him stop by. And uh, okay, I'll see if I can locate him here. Evidently, he came down through here. <laughs> he came off the road here, back down through this way, and plowed into the post over here. He spun out. His glasses are on the floor, so he, I think he was wearing them. Yeah, he did. He went right through there. The officer over there, the uh, Marion College officer, said that. Uh, it hadn't been for that pole, he'd run over him. Was he sitting over there? Yeah, he's sitting over there, so he's coming right at him. <laughs> That's why he sounded shaken up on the radio. I thought he was involved. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. That car came right through here. The only thing that stopped him from creaming into his car was that pole. <laughs> Basically, what we found was this guy came Coming across 38th Street here, went off the road, came through the trees, and about hit a police officer was sitting over here. One thing that stopped him was that pole there. When I walked up to the car, had a bag of marijuana, a bag of cocaine in his shirt pocket, sticking out the top, and he's been drinking, so he's pretty much wasted here. It's all in one bag, tied up pretty good. So, he's pretty, he's lucky he's alive. That pole's broken. The car's demolished. I'm gonna go buy me a lottery ticket. <laughs> it had been Look right. Pole, he'd have went right over the front of the car. This is the path he took right through yeah. here, and he'd have come right into this police car sitting here. There's parts underneath there. In his car. Matter there's these trees here were tossed all the way over there from him coming through the woods where he came off the road, and that pole luckily was there and stopped it from hitting this police car. You're a lucky man. <laughs> You guys are going to Wishard? Going to Wishard? Yeah. All right. I'm going to follow you out, okay? I'm, I'm going to follow you out. Are you ready to leave now? Okay. Now I know why the officer sounded so bad when he was on the radio. This car came through these weeds, and the only thing that stopped from hitting him was that pole there. So he, he's lucky. Some, you know, today somebody was looking out for him. They, he could have easily been killed by that car. It was coming very fast through there. Got a guy driving like a maniac down here. Trying to see what the heck he's doing. Get out that side. Talk to that off. Turn around right there. Turn around. We've got a problem right here. Can I turn around and talk to you? This is my tenants right here, okay? My dad owns this property, okay? He's in jail. My dad ain't in jail. He's in jail. Probably is right over here at this house. He was just now harassing my female tenant. And they called me over here at my house. I live on North Bell. Okay. So okay. you come flying from North Bevel out of the alley? No, I, no, I come out of the alley. He, I, I just had words with him out back. He says, well, let's go out in front and talk, confront her about this. And that's when I come out of the alley. I said, sure, I'll meet you over here. What's the word? Huh? 
He's got he's got a burr haircut now. He, right there. Put the cigarette down. Around. 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 Now, what's the problem? I don't know. I thought you were in prison. I thought I was in prison. I thought you were in jail. I thought you got arrested for something. You had the wrong guy. Oh, really? Let's walk over here. Hey, I ain't nothing. What are you arguing with this guy about? Huh? 244 control. Can you copy a 29? Are you Murder. going to jail? Like I killed somebody's passes. All right, I'll have that. Can they confirm what now? Wagon. Wagon. And speak up, Larry. Don't play uh, your daddy's baby boy. Come and talk like a man. Why don't you be quiet, partner, all right? I bust your head, I'll tell you that. What's your talk on me, boy. Today, they, he came over and I guess borrowed a hammer from them while I was They're asleep. Trying, trying to. Right. So he get well, I got to get my stuff out of here. You know, well, yeah. okay, fine. I, I have nothing to do with that. Right. Um, I was in the house and came out today and I was, after he mowed my grass and I'm picking up glass and he's talking to me and he's making propositions of, damn, you look good. You must have been a dancer. Well, you got an old man, whatever. I said, you know, that ain't no your business back off of me. Right. I don't, I stay to myself. And a little black girl that came up here earlier today, she told him, she said she stays to herself. She's by herself. Leave her alone. You know, I'm cool with all these neighbors. I ain't no... So you then know, you I call him up? What, what? Right, because he made his last sexual innuendo right here, and he said, damn, don't she look good. Uh, no, you need to keep your mouth to yourself. This is my house. I pay rent. No, you need to stay on your property line if you're going to stay over there and do your crack or whatever. I'd prefer you not to because I have kids. Stay stay away from me. Okay, so you just know? verbally, you didn't do anything physically to no. touch her? No, no. Then, no. then I come over and I, uh, she told me who he was, you know, got a screwed up nose. And I said, well, I know the guy. And I caught him out back, out back here. And we had a few right. words back here. And he says, well, let's go confront the bitch about this because she ain't doing nothing but trying to sell us back across the street anyway. I said, well, let's come on over here and confront them. That's, uh, yeah, I come out of the alley and I pull up here up out, off the street. We, right. Yeah, when that's when you like pulled up. Right. Right. Okay. right. Stay right there. Stay there. Well, yeah, uh, am I going to jail? Yeah, yeah, you're going to jail. For what? Public intoxication, I believe. Uh, What's yeah. your social security number? Hey, man, you brought me out. My buddy's house. I brought you out. out. You were on the sidewalk when I saw you. you I just asked you to come out. here. I'm not going to argue. That's wrong. Bust my head with the Okay. Just stay sitting down. Okay. I am out of the area. Okay. Don't be tough, guy. Okay. I ain't no tough guy, but I like the head bunch to knock you out. Wait, lady. You feel free. No thing I can. You ready? Yeah, we're ready. They don't want to take them. Anytime you want. I just want your head in the right direction. Does that kick your ass handcuffed or not? Want to watch this? Watch. Yeah! I could. Oh, I know you could have got me, man. And you wouldn't have got back up either because no. I've been still on that. Mm -hmm. You're a character, man. No, be fucking fat. Then your neck and mine. Uh huh. Man, you gotta pick up some weight, get some heart, do something. That little gun don't do. Well, I know. Neither does the badge either, huh? Well, no, that was a the law. I would appreciate that. Walk. Let's go this way, all right? Let's just take it easy with the wagon driver, man. Can I have my shoes? Yeah. Your shoes are going with you. You got them right there, okay? All right. Hey, man, didn't I tell you something last time? What'd you tell me? Didn't I tell you about somebody in jail on that murder case? No, you that. can tell Sergeant West about that. I don't want to know about it. I ain't nobody. All right? I don't want to know about hey. it. Very, very angry. You know what? Don't give her a hard time, all right? You can give me a hard time all you want, but don't give the female wagon driver a hard time. Can me and you rock on good day, go to the gym and just box it out or when you're off duty, just do no. it like that? No, I wouldn't want to hurt you or anything. I wouldn't hurt you either. I know. So I Break your neck. I uh, know. I could do it right now, handcuffed and all. Hmm. Good. Damn, you good. You guys don't Relax know a damn hand. thing Relax about me. Hey, Relax, Relax your hand. Relax your hand. You don't walk up in it like a big boy? Can you go on? Watch your head. Duck, Duck your head. head. There you go. Hey, man, I'm going to have a good time. Hey, man. Boy. See it. Slide yeah, down. you will. Slide down there, partner. 
I was coming down uh, Tacoma and this truck just comes flying out, almost broadsides me and I turn it up on the curb and everything and uh, this guy squeals his tires and slams them up over the curb and lands right here. I thought he was the going to be the problem. Come to find out he was into it with Brumley and, and in the back alley back here and uh, I guess he was calling the female kinds of stuff and asking her a proposition or stuff like that. So calling you all kinds of stuff too. Yeah well I'm used to that. Yeah.